Hi everyone, it's Lee from Gnome and Backyard, and today we're going to have a little fun with these kazoos from the Dollar Tree. And yes, they come 10 in a pack. Now, no, we are not going to have music lessons today. We are going to have some crafting fun. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm taking a small little swatch of white faux fur. I'm putting a hefty bead right along the top of my triangle on the back of the fur, and I'm going to attach it to my first kazoo. <laughs> I bet you didn't see that coming when you first started watching this video, did you? So we're going to just take and secure it. Now, if you notice, the hearts on the top of the kazoo there are upside down, so I'm just going to cover them completely. I had this really fun, fluffy pink yarn and I am going to just attach it right there to the kazoo. So I think you already figured out we're using the kazoo for our first gnome as a base basically. Um, we're hot gluing the fur on. Oh my goodness, I'm loving that little hat. I actually think I own a pink hat very similar to that. So like I said, we're using the kazoo as a base for our craft today. Let's set that one aside. Now let's take kazoo number two, and let's actually use the back of it, the solid pink. I have a scrap piece of faux pink fur that I am going to hot glue to the kazoo. And if you notice, I am covering that little um, raised part that is on the kazoo. So we're just attaching our fur. You can use some E6000 Gorilla Glue hot glue. I'm going to take a pink ribbon now and just wrap it around where my fur is uh, meeting the top of, well, you guessed it, a gnome hat. Because I don't know, when I saw the kazoos, that's just what shouted to me was gnome hat, just because of the shape. Now, how fun are these cute little styrofoam mushrooms from the Dollar Tree? And they are in the... Easter section. So I'm going to pull one of the tiny ones off and accessorize my hat. And I'm just actually stuffing it right there into the top of my hat. I'm going to cut a few more off and then I'm going to hot glue them to my hat. And they make really cute little pink with white polka dot buttons, sort of, um, just to accessorize my hat. Now, you can decorate these hats any way you want. Grab what's ever in your stash and use it. But I just think that turned out so sweet. How fun is that? Because gnomes, mushrooms, you know they both go together. All right, kazoo number three. Let's take a piece of gray faux fur. Again, just cut in a small triangle. We're going to put a hefty bead of hot glue right there across the top of it. And we're going to attach it to our kazoo. So you really don't need much faux fur for this craft. And again, I used an assortment of colors. Now I had some fun red fluffy yarn, and I'm just going to take and hot glue that right around where the edge of my fur is meeting the top of my gnome's hat. I like to give my gnomes a brim to their hat. I think that is, um, it just finishes it off. So we're going to just cut off the excess, and then I think we'll add a few more little decorative touches to this. We'll add a red felt heart, and I think we'll add a white felt heart to the top. How fun is that? That even looks like a party hat. So you can actually do these for a birthday party, a New Year's Eve party, if you were just looking for some fun decorations, some fun party pieces. Um, it looks really like a fun birthday hat. Now we're going to take a really small piece of brown faux fur, which is actually my favorite color because I love the different shadings of the browns and tans in this. And we're going to hot glue it right above where that little circle is on our kazoo. And this little guy, you can sort of see the, the bottom a little bit of the kazoo and I think that's cute. Maybe that's his legs, who knows? But now we're gonna take a red and white pipe cleaner and we're going to attach it to the back of the kazoo and we are just going to continually wrap it around giving just our hat another little special red, white, and pink Valentine's Day decor look to it. We're going to attach it at the very top there after we wind it around and then just wind it around a few more times, maybe bend it off to the side. I have a cute little uh, heart accessory that was in my stash that was gifted to me and I'm going to just attach it to the top. How fun is this one? He is looking so sweet. All right, I think we're on our last one. So we're going to take a very small piece of white faux fur. 
Again, I'm liking that the bottom is just showing through a little bit. Like I said, that could be his, his little pants underneath or his body. And then I'm going to take some other hearts I had in my stash. I had this pink felt heart, and I'm actually just going to uh, flip it upside down, attach it to my kazoo hat, and then add a few more. I did forget these these were actually stickers, the red and white ones, so I can actually just peel the back off and stick it on there. I didn't need to use the hot glue. But again, just accessorizing, making a cute little, it actually to me looks like an upside down tulip hat. And then we're going to add a pom-pom to the top. Now, let's pull out those gnome noses. You know we have this uh, container from the Dollar Tree, and it's where we like to store our gnome noses. And these are just some tiny little wooden beads. They are flat on the bottom. Um, I get these at Home Depot in the wood section. They come in a pack, and you get quite a few uh, for maybe 3 or $4. So, oh my goodness, you guys, look how cute and fun they're looking. Oh, I am loving them. Each one is just cuter than the next. But in honor of Grandma Jean today, I think we're going to turn these guys into magnets. So we're just grabbing some simple magnets and hot gluing them to the very back. Now, just be careful when you're hot gluing your magnets on the back. Make sure you are picking um, an area that is raised up that's going to connect with your uh, refrigerator or cabinet, whatever you are going to put them on. But guys, there they are. Aren't they so sweet? I am absolutely loving this Valentine's family of gnomes. And how simple was it to just take this kazoo, use it as as a back, uh, backer, a foundation for our craft today. I really do hope you get the chance to make several for yourself and your friends and your family. Thank you so much for continuing to sprinkle all of Gnome and Backyards videos.